Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick. In this episode, we're going to continue working on alchemy. In the last episode, we had hedge alchemy, and one of the main reasons we started with that was to open up the Everfull Urn. One of the minor annoyances when doing alchemy in the Crucible is having to keep refilling your Crucible with the bucket, because you have to empty it because you can only use a full bucket to put the Crucible in there, and it's just tedious to have a water source over here and keep refilling it. So let's see what we can do about that using the ever full urn. To unlock this, we'll need a theory in fundamentals and an observation alchemy. That theory is the same one we've made in our theory of crafting video. So we'll hit complete. And now we can build the ever full urn. We're going to need a clay flower pot. We need 30 aqua, 10 fabrico, and 10 terra. Now we can get aqua from water bottles. Fabrico from crafting tables, and Terra from dirt or stone. But be very careful if you use dirt, because remember, aqua plus dirt makes clay from the hedge alchemy video. So if you toss your aqua in there and then your dirt, you'll end up with clay and a bunch of random special of random aspects, and you're not gonna get an ever full urn. So I went ahead and prepped stone rather than dirt for this. Although dirt would work if you toss it in before the water. Okay, let's get water, stone, crafting table, flower pots, and quartz slivers to clean up. Now, the only thing we'll have left over is stuff from the crafting table. I We only need 10, uh, 10 Fabrico, but there's nine Herba on there. I need an even number to clean it up, so I use two. We'll have 30 of that left over and all of the 18 Herba. That's okay, we'll get aspect crystals instead. So again, we'll start by tossing in our ingredients, our catalyst, our quartz slivers. Now note that there were quartz slivers left over and no water. That was an indicator that there were leftover aspects we did not turn into quartz slivers. We had to put more water in there. So, but now that the quartz slivers throw in there, they don't give me anything back, and there's more water, we know that there's nothing left in the crucible. Let's go ahead and shift right click, and we can empty this. So, how does the ever full urn work? Well, it's pretty simple. Place it down close to the crucible, I think within four blocks. Eventually, it will start bubbling up, and it will fill your crucible. And it will fill it even if it's not empty. So it will always keep your crucible full. It takes a second or two for it to detect that it's empty or needs more water, but generally this is going to be a pretty fast solution. So that's how we use the ever full urn. Thanks for watching. See you next time.